Welcome back to the O of Course show with Margo Martinez, aka okay, me. me. Again, how's everyone's morning doing? Hope be, hopefully it's going well. My morning's going good, you know, like usual, it's always going good. If you've got coffee, it's just like always, reminder to take a sip of your coffee. If you don't have coffee, do water because, you know, water is better for you. So, yeah. Bye. Nah, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, again, how how's everyone's morning doing? Mine going good. It's a little bit cloudier than what I wanted it to be. Um, I mean, I guess welcome to Nebraska, where the weather is fucking everywhere. Like, what, last week? It was fucking... Like the eighties, nice cool ladies, and now it's been fucking in the thirty. Like in the mornings, it's hitting in anywhere in the mid twenties to low thirties, and highest are like in the mid to upper forties. Like what the fuck is this shit? What the fuck happened, Nebraska? That's one reason why I hate living here is the fucking weather. Yeah, Nebraska isn't for everyone, but fuck this weather, man. Fuck this weather. But, I mean, uh, in other great news, for the people that are in school here in May, they will be graduating. Both college and high school, they will be graduating. Congratulations to all the graduates of 2023. The graduates of 2024, it's coming faster than expected. So, yeah. Welcome, welcome to real life. Trust me, it's going to bite you in the ass. But I mean, it's going to bite you in the ass hard. So, yeah. I finally have been able to transfer after all this whole time. Finally been able to. And is it sad? Yes, because I won't be seeing my peeps, my old co-workers anymore. But, I mean, (laughs) starting a different journey. Cause that's that's how life you always got to be starting different journeys. Doors open, doors open while other closes, you know. And then, you know, then once I start getting to the real estate business, then that way, you know, it's even better. Cause then that, cause then I'll be able to close my old doors and start a completely new journey. Cause at the age of sixteen till now, I have been in retail. So for a good six years, I have been in retail, and it's, it's. Good, but you know, just kind of time for me to just kind of call it done. I mean, I don't want to be working in retail my whole entire life, so kind of that's why I'm just looking into other career options. You know, that's that's always good, but yeah, that's just life. But one thing that just came across my mind today, though, that I kind of wanted to speak into the podcast was just observation. Like, I don't like, are you the type of person where you observe too much? You observe a lot where and I'm and what I mean by that is, you know, let's say you go to the store or whatever you're shopping and whatnot. Let's say you're either shopping by yourself or shopping with like with someone else. And you either in your head, if you're shopping alone in your head, you either point it out, point out something or let you tell if you're shopping with someone else, you point it out to them like, oh, hey, did you see that? Oh, did you see that girl's hair? Like, it was pretty cool. And they're like, who? Like, oh, you know, the one that was right around the corner. You did not see that? Like, no. And you're like, oh, well, you know, she had some cool hair and I, you know, that's pretty cool. I liked it. Or. Um, like on the, on the ceiling, let's say you see like a balloon up there in the store or just something, you're just very observant of your surroundings and you either tell yourself that in your head or when you're with someone else, you point it out and they just look at you like what the fuck, or they're also being observant, but they weren't being observant to that. They were being observant to something else. Now that's, that's, I mean, that's how I am. Or let's say, um, oh, this is how I am too, but have you ever been, um, 
like texting someone or seeing others' texts and you know like the emojis like you could reading reading texts you can just kind of hear the emotion behind it like you can kind of you can just like see how it's said like you know what i mean where you know let's say if you and your spouse or your boyfriend girlfriend whatever you guys are in an argument and you see how they're texting and you're like yeah that's not them like they're they're obviously mad or or just something like that you can just read just reading it others can be like oh no this or no no that but you see it you're like no it it it, it looks like this like it gives me this energy you know have you ever noticed that <sighs> cuz i was um or was it um uh, well like today uh, my girlfriend and i she was on her lunch and i just you know we were just, uh we went to chick-fil-a uh she ate and whatnot because i already did ate and so then that we just i just drove around took her to a to a uh car dealership because you want to just you know just look then obviously i don't have the money to be buying shit like that but i just wanted to look and uh, you know, i was just looking around and then just at the corner of my eye i saw and i'm like oh hey there's a Tesla here. I never knew they had Teslas here. Like, I, like this isn't a Tesla dealership. It's just a normal, normal car dealership. And I was like, holy shit, they, they have Teslas here. And she's like, where? I'm like, right over there. And I mean, I pointed out to her. Um, and, but I, I don't know. Like, I'm just observing like that. Um, or like, even when we were just driving around all these cars, I could, I could, sometimes see the difference between all the other cars where they're all let's say they're all five ford explorers all the same color but when i see it i'm like huh you i can kind of tell which ones are different i don't know i i don't know it just popped in my head and i just started realizing it just started thinking i'm like why am i so observant you know i observe a lot whether it be driving um at work sometimes and just in life in general like you know if i'm watching a youtube video and obviously i'm watching the content i'm watching what i'm what i'm watching uh but i can see now i can just see things that i'm like oh well you know uh this happened or oh i never knew they had uh you know the nike logo up there and but that's not the premise of the video. I'm just, or like sometimes if you know people are are, um, what do you call it? Are, are trying to sponsor, like you know they have a sponsor or they're just trying to they're doing things in the video to make you look in, at their environment and you can see it. I mean, just being observant. I don't know. I I know. I mean, probably everyone has had their own different uh, times of being observant. Well, I just crossed my mind on why am I so observant? Like, I don't know why I am. And when I I did a quick search on, you know, the good old Google. Supposedly, it says that the critical thinking that follows, which helps you learn more about the world around you. Because I guess being very observant is like you just you, like I think it's like open minded or something like that. It's something like that. This is it says the phrase "real time" was created with observant individuals in mind. They're most in touch with what occurs in front of them in the present. This doesn't mean observant personality types have no regard for the past and future, but they view both from the perspective of how each influences their present actions. This makes them focused and practical people. They mostly root their thinking in the actionable, tangible, and useful. But make no mistake, these personalities can be creative within that realm. And I guess one challenge people with the observant personality trait may face is a too narrow perspective. They may reject far-reaching solutions in favor of something more obvious. By continuing something that appears practical at arm's length but doesn't fit the bigger picture, they might reduce their hard work to busy work. Hmm? True, 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 true. And so I don't know. I don't. I don't know why I'm like that. Why I'm just observant. Me. I mean, I don't know. It you know, 
because I know you are. Uh, if you do listen to it through Spotify, you are able to put in your own comments on there, and I am able to see it. Um, I think the, I mean they'll have it as like the Q and A's, but you can put your own comments in there if you want, and just you know, just tell me uh, when I, when has there been times where you've been observant and why. You know, you can just go ahead and tell me in that. Um, yeah, I was just kind of in my mind for today's uh, podcast episode. I'm sorry these have been different, more of the solo episodes. I kind of just speak on what's, my, what's on my mind. Um, like I, well, so I do apologize if, you know, most of you guys don't like this type of form. I don't know. I, this is just the type of form that I just kind of enjoy doing more. I mean, yeah, I will... Uh, I don't mind talking to other people and whatnot, but I do prefer kind of having them with me and talking because that way I'm able to see the emotions better. And when speaking to me, it just seems better to me than on a Zoom call. So, um, yeah. So that's just kind of like what I've been talking about uh, for today's, you know, just episode i guess just observation and kind of just other things that were on my mind but just yeah if for you spotify listeners let me know um i think it's like in the q a's where you're able to you know uh, see it you know hey just let me know uh, uh are you observant and if so when have been t- when have there been times when you have seen it where you kind of have had to ask yourself you know why am i so observant you know so, but yeah, that wraps it up for today's episode. I'll thank you guys for listening. I'll love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. And again, these episodes, instead of Sunday, they will start coming out Monday morning. Uh, just because, you know, I just had to switch some things up. So Monday morning, you should start seeing these out. So, Peace, y'all.